This is the next video. And in this video, I'm going to look at the EU chart and uh, bring it on screen and discuss some of the elements of it. I've been doing, it seems to me, a lot of event chart astrology and uh, a kind of global astrology in, in terms of nation states. And I, I do hope to cover quite a bit during this period of time, since it seems to be of uh, uh, interest. Uh, but I, I want to also keep an eye on the fact about what these videos are about. Uh, it's about demonstrating astrology or inviting um, uh, uh, inviting one into an experiment with this uh, symbolic world of astrology that we play around with to use the imagination to in order to see if there's some some validity in what, what we're saying this is why i've been looking at a couple of horaries uh, that pass to do with the brexit votes and so on to see if it has and again and again a, a validity uh, astrology is in a very small minority, it's a very small minority of people, uh, but it nevertheless it involves the investment of the imaginal world in relation to um, understanding. So it, 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 images and uh, interpretations, images and interpretations. And that seems to um, bring the left and the right brain when you're working with um, uh, images and understanding what happens is the left and the right brain functions come together the imagistic ideas the symbolic ideas are working with uh, the, the mythologies the patterns and so on and then to bring forth something out of yourself which makes sense of it that's what the whole of astrology is is about and uh, it's just a kind of demonstration in in a uh, poetic thinking uh, and poetic imagination as i've said in other videos in combination with uh, the art of interpretation of symbolism and more than that sometimes there is a, a a sense of pulling out of the symbolism almost of divining it to see if it can speak through the the particular individual so let's have a look now at the European chart. If I can just bring it on the screen here. Okay, let me take that down. I hope, hope now people can see uh, this horoscope. This will not be the first time uh, that I look at the the, this particular horoscope because there's so much in it. Uh, that needs to be looked at and um, uh, I think it's a, a, a deep interest in the way that it seems to reflect the European Union. And remember the European Union is an idea as well as a body of people uh, having its own parliament, its own government, it has uh, the European Commission, it has uh, the Council of Ministers, it has um, uh, you know, lots of bodies that work together, it has its own courts of justice. It's almost like a, 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 a country uh, or a big super state, a, a federation of various states that has as its goal this European Union, which came together on the 1st of November, or it's enforced on this date, 1993. That's when they all came together. Um, now, uh, let's have a look at the chart. It's interesting in this chart when you when you look at one. So we must uh, to, to to see the element balance, and we notice here that there's virtually no fire whatsoever, apart from on the ascendant. And what this generally means is that through any um, a body or any kind of organic hole that the uh, horoscope shows that, that this is the missing element this missing element will be um, uh, there we, we contain all of the elements of earth fire air and water in us but when it's not on the horoscope it seems to act from unconscious sources Whenever a person has that missing, they either become uh, brilliant at it or, or their emotional life underneath the, the what is called the inferior function of consciousness tends to come through that. And fire, fire usually equates with the intuitive vision of uh, the, the, the energy of goal orientation, goal orientation, not just goals as an earthy project, but this uh, kind of sense of wonder or awe.
uh, often noted to, to be visionary. I mean, the, the Aries uh, temperament, for example, comes up with quick ideas. It sees the possibility of the excitement of things and then gets carried away with its own excitement. Um, often that excitement is sh very short. Very, it comes out in quick bursts. Um, and, 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 and Aries have difficulty in this as other parts of the chart seeing through that vision. But it operates as a, a primal source of revelation. Not a lot of, is made often in, in textbooks about Aries' um, sense of vision and purpose and direction and, and, and his innate sense of uniqueness and wanting to make an impression on the world. Uh, and so it's rather brusque and it can be rough or pushy. But it is led chiefly by the imaginal sense of what one can experience as excitement. Uh, and so this fire uh, rushes up, it comes forth, it sees an opportunity to compete or to challenge or to battle life. And that brings out the life force of this uh, very unique uh, uh, spiritual sign. It's spiritual because um, it, it, it's the power of a new release into life. Um, it isn't so much focused on any particular goal. The goal isn't it in, in areas. It, 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 it's the power of that fiery crack the, 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 um, when something finally comes ablaze. It's a, and it very, can be an explosive sign. It can be a heady sign, very much led by the head, um, often getting into accidents and all kinds of that because it wants to reach the goal far more um, quickly than, than it usually can. But nevertheless, that begins the fire signs. Now, Leo takes the fire of Aries and tries to focus it. It tries to focus it in, in, in a particular way. And Leo has this, this vision, internal vision of greatness. It's not the greatness of Capricorn. It's not the what can be of uh, uh, Sagittarius, which we'll come to in a minute. It's, it's a, a, um, a perception of the, the uh, life force in the, in, in the individual and an intuitive perception of the creativity of the human mind and imagination. It can be overtly generous, or it can be a bit too loud because it's so in love with its own voice uh, in, in personality terms. But the Leo is looking for what is unique and purposeful. It, it aims for glory. It aims to um, uh, express through the ego uh, the divine nature which stands behind the sign, which is the ruler of the sun. Uh, well, what Leo's problems are very often are that they uh, confuse the glamour, they confuse the fame for apparent greatness. Um, they want to be great. Alexander the Great was a Leo. They want to be great, but they, um, but, but this often uh, they, they, through the achievement of fame or self-importance or uh, being larger than life, they're very operatic. They have a sense of uh, trying to. Um, um, dramatize their own emotions and obviously somebody so many people are interested you know um, uh, in, in, in them they, they can drown out the voices that's the that's the extroverted Leo the introverted Leo of course is creative looking inside and um, it's the fire a creativity within them which seeks expression in some dramatic or artistic form and usually that's a vision and we see here, uh, and of course, Sagittarius, we see this Leo is in the Sagittarius deacon. Remember, every sign has 10 degrees to it. The first 10 degrees is ruled by the sign. The second 10 degrees has a, has a share in the next fire sign. So you see this is in the second 10 degrees of the sign. And so therefore, um, is is uh, is more Sagittarian. So this has the pursuing pursuing of a visionary goal, uh, almost a religious in in its uh, overall sense, uh, moving towards something which is greater than itself. Uh, and so it seeks a, a kind of glorification of itself. It sees a special importance in its place in history. Uh, and 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 this 
it's 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 thinly based because not many of the planets are there but this is the shining goal of it to be a a beacon of light of what harmony and togetherness you know the many tongues one voice poster which we may come to in another video this 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 sense of a dynamic vision but it's fixed you see we have many fixed signs here you see this moon in taurus one two three four planets in fixed signs here five planets here and six fixed signs a fixed moon a fixed uh, saturn which tends towards tyranny and then we have this fixed ascendant and a fixed mc what's all this fixity it's its vision becomes fixed and solid and structured it has its rules it has its uh, uh, vision and it's going to operate in a very stubborn and a very um, a, a, a dynamic way in sticking to its goals donald tusk who is the uh, president of the council the european council interestingly enough has his sun and moon conjunction in taurus around about three or four degrees taurus so isn't he the ideal um uh, houndsman at the moment for this project it's also interesting in this um uh, uh, in this that um <laughs> The Europa, which is the myth behind Taurus, one of the myths behind Taurus the bull, Europa was um, she who was abducted on a bull and the bull was uh, uh, disguised by Zeus and he took her to Crete and uh, laid with her obviously, brought his own, uh, showed himself in his own form and then sent the um, sent the bull back up into uh, the heavens and it became the constellation of Taurus. But Taurus is a very interesting sign in this, and she became queen of Crete, and um, something here to do, with, Europe means broad or, or broad view, you know, it, 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 it's a broad church, but it, it, and it's to do with the land, and um, a consort of Demeter, or the land goddesses, and here we see the moon goddess, the moon goddess Astarte um, uh, here, and so the moon goddess of Starse and Europa are very much linked in to, to, to here. And so we see this as a, as a kind of return of the soil a return to, to the land, the, the uh, sense of permanence and solidity. And in, in, a, in a person's chart, uh, the moon represents where we will feel safe, what our family is. And if we all stick to the same rules, the same dynamism, and through monetary union, which is a very Torian thing, to do with gold and possessions and ownership. Um, so it seeks this uh, solidity through which uh, behind which we can all stand. Um, and, and but it is a very matriarchal body. Um, the moon in in um, national charts often represents the people themselves. So, but it it is run more like uh, less like the sun and more like this. Uh, it runs through its emotional uh, sense of purpose. You see, now what is the purpose? The sun. Here, what is the purpose? Well, the ideal presentational self, the force forward of the self, is, is shown by the sun in Scorpio. And its ultimate aim is the transformation of the nation state. We can see it in the fourth house, which often represents the nation state. So it seeks to set itself up as the center, the, the, the Brussels, the parliaments, the big government seeks to self it set up, set up as a center. And to do that, it, it, is, it, it is the death or the transformation of the nation state into a much bigger uh, 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 center of operations, which we might call the sun. It's presentational self here, it's professional image ruled by the Venus here in, in Libra seeks peace and harmony and it has its own national, it has not national anthem, it has its own European anthem. It, 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 it is setting itself up to be a confederation of states with a central bureaucracy operating in the center. And you see this uh, uh, Venus here is nicely trying the Saturn and the Saturn is square the moon. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that now. But of course, it seeks to bring together um, 
conflicts and opposites and difficulties. And I think this is why this chart is so, so strongly, um, it has a lot of tension in it. Now, imagine that this moon in Taurus, Taurus can be belligerent, it can be obstinate in its views, and it, 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 when it's, you know, you can see that the emotions are forced through a kind of a, a, a block of uh, control. Taurus hates to change its mind very much. And once its mind is set, it's as if the emotional self has to go down these set structures, these set plans, because anything outside of it produces anxiety. Uh, uh, that, that on the one hand produces a stability of purpose, a sense of direction, firmness, security on which we can build. And it's, but it's an emotional thing, you see. When, if, if this moon was disturbed in any way, what will happen is it, it, it feels out of control. You see, and panic attacks are likely to happen. You, you often get this uh, f a sense of fundamentalism in charts when you have a strong earth signs, but also fire. And as I was just coming back to that fire a minute, when fire comes through the unconscious, it can come out as a form of fanaticism a kind of ideological possession or possession by a vision in which you think you've been specially chosen. And th this is a feature of this chart, I think, where you've got so much here, a very, very strong earthy current here, trying to this Uranus-Neptune conjunction in Earth uh, and, 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 and a square to Saturn. This is, we do it my way. We, 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 we impose certain structures and certain rules and that keep Europe safe. So Europe is shown by this um, Taurus here and in, 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 with the moon in it, there is a sense that you're being kept safe by the preservation of uh, this body, this great magnificent body, but it has a lot to overcome. The oppositions from other nations and, but it, because it means a lot of destruction in, in, in its wake. You know, for what you might gain in, in a sense of purpose and a larger body being drawn into the herd instinct, you will have to lose one sense, of, you know, uh, of individual self-assertion. You may even lose your individual voice. We're talking about democracy here. And um, but it has a mission. And its mission is to overpower or uh, force its will uh, to a certain extent for the benefit of the whole or it thinks it's for the benefit of the whole. This over here is the ideological dream of the European Union. And I would say that this Uranus is where we tend to progress ideologically, a, a sense of movement on. It's a Promethean spirit to find out the new things. And it always has a way of upsetting the apple cart as Uranus. But when it was combined with this Neptune, we see a combined vision of, of, of uh, a, a redemption of Europe and European nation states, a kind of redeeming feature in a, in a grand fusion of both politics and in, in a sense this is driven by a, 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 a need to find a redeeming super state. And the state here is shown by the Capricorn. Capricorn is often a planet, you know, to, to, uh, often a sign connected with industry and building and structures and uh, uh, architectures and, uh, uh, you know, um, hierarchical structures which hold things together. So here is the great ideological dream of a, of a utopic perfect society. And you see it's beautifully trying this moon. And so it's envisioned in a kind of emotional way. And the way that it's done is to follow a procedure of set rules and set structures. But as I said in the previous video to this, when this moon is square Saturn, when, when people challenge this, and it's a very strong square here, almost exact, you know, within a degree, um, Saturn can oppress the moon. Uh, I mean, it doesn't need much oppression being in Taurus because Taurus tends to uh, combine things, push things in, uh, in into a set goal. Um, but Saturn can oppress the, the emotions. You know, Saturn can oppress the free emotions uh, and, and, and in a way tyrannize them with its ideological purpose of a homogenized um, collective group here. This Saturn is 
acting as a tyranny and we can also see this you know in its um, difficulty in Europe at the moment Viktor Orban has been his his vote has all been you know his country doesn't get any kind of say now in the council because uh, he's gone against the rules that he didn't he 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 didn't want migration in his country he's seeking to preserve the Christian values of his country because he sees it being destroyed he sees a, a loss of control of a politically uh, of a democratic. Uh, democratic people voted him in and then uh, all of the rules of the organization are kind of coming down and tyrannizing the individual states not ready to integrate in the way that um, has been proposed all right now finally what i want to look at is this uranus on here uh, uranus will be about five degrees taurus by the end of may which is when the end of, when, which is when the elections are, are coming on now, in any individual who is open to receiving the vibrations, if you like, or the uh, precipitations of Uranus, what Uranus does is intrinsic by transit, but intrinsically he does this. Whatever the set structures uh, of an organizing system, of your own ego structures, of what you think reality is, they are challenged to change. Um, he, he Saturn, uh, Uranus is anti-Saturn. He comes along and, and, and opens up the opportunity for a new vision of life. But this can only take place if the set pattern of the ego is disrupted. So ordinarily he can come along as a kind of lightning bolt of change. Perhaps we often see him as in, in terms of accidents or something comes along uh, which, which sets, in which the status quo is challenged it's moved beyond, it's cracked, and if there isn't enough flexibility in the ego, if it's been too set, like I'm afraid these fixed signs are, what we have here is a kind of cracking at the seams. And we already see, you know, the uh, anti-immigrant, an anti-migration rather than anti-immigrant, although those two, um, as Freudian slip there, the, the, um, the two often get confused. Uh, 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 migrants are not to be blamed for anything, um, anything at all, uh, whether it's economic migrants or um, uh, uh, fleeing uh, the difficulties of the poverty or the wars in which they're, 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 um, it's, it's a very tragic state of affairs in the world at the moment with all these powers moving to try and, um, you know, obliterating countries and for, for ideological or religious reasons and so on. It's a very difficult circumstance, but the flooding of countries has got the host nations or some people in the host nations very scared that they are losing their identity. And this fact has to be noticed. And the controller of that, if you like, with the Schengen agreements and the breakdown of boundaries in the country has allowed that to happen. It's been a very Neptunian thing with Neptunian Pisces here. But uh, the set structures, the set uh, rule rulerships, and I see this perhaps as the European Council um, here at the top of the chart. That's one which sets the agenda of the EU. That is going to be broken, broken apart. And there are many countries at the moment where there are rise of so-called populist groups, which are which want to save nation-state democracy. We see it in Italy. We see it in the Netherlands, we see it in England, um, uh, we see it in France even. I mean, there hasn't been much on the news recently, but the yellow vests in, in France, these, these, um, the impositions of taxes upon them, they finally come out. The rebellious nature of the French is very, very well known. It, it, it overthrows its rulers with rebellions because of its sense of need for freedom, egalite, at, um, freedom, fraternity, and that those the, the, those those principles come through and unfortunately i think that this superstructure has intended to act rather like a uh, a controlling headmistress over everybody and if you don't do what you're told what's that does is you get punished 
So as Uranus comes across this MC, some kind of, and particularly towards the, the, in, in the, the May elections for the MEPs, never mind in this country, this Mercury retrograde mode is seeing something, isn't it? We don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, one thing is said, and then it's, uh, it's changed. We're not allowed the vote. We are allowed the vote. Theresa May has been held into contempt of, the government's been held into contempt of parliament. The unprecedented uh, changes are going on, unprecedented things. Uh, this Mercury retrograde is causing some kind of, uh, to everything to run amok. And I wouldn't be surprised if a few things crack uh, uh, occasionally. So this is coming up then. And is, this is all done in the form of an experiment to see indeed if this chart is valid. Uranus is either to do with breakdown or breakthrough. But what we do know is something is coming up in May here to change this ideological dream. It's uh, somehow I, I have the feeling that the imposition of this union um, has, has, a, a, has, has um, a, a, brought up some very deeply held repressed contents in the uh, various nations and various peoples of a tremendous fear of annihilation which the European tends to um, bring up in people. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. And I hope that that's been reasonably interesting talking about this chart, but there are other things I want to talk about it as well in subsequent videos. Cheerio.